mouse modifiers. So within Reaper, you can actually change the way the mouse works in three particular ways. Left click, left double click, and left click and hold, or left click drag is what they call it in Reaper. And you can find all these in options, preferences, and then mouse modifiers. So I'll just show you some of the features that I put in that make it work like Pro Tools. For instance, if you left click and you do control, just like in Pro Tools, the top of the item will go to the mouse cursor. And if you want the opposite, then you do option control and the end will go to the mouse um, edit cursor. So that's just clicking. But an added feature that I put in there is that if you press, what is it, command option control, it'll make your asset from stereo to mono. So just kind of a neat little feature. Um, also, there's the track features, which if you double click, just like in Pro Tools, it'll solo or it'll highlight all of the items in the track. And also, I added this little feature, press control and on the track, and it'll solo the track, which is a lot faster to me than doing shift S. Added little feature. Um, one feature I forgot to show is all of the dragging. Um, so if you do, uh, what is it? Control, control, just like in Pro Tools, it'll move the item up and down and you can move this all around and it kind of locks it in place, which is I use all the time. But an added feature um, is you can adjust the volume. I have it at fine, but you can change this if you want. So if you go to this clip and then you press command and option, then you can actually do the volume of the clip up and down, and that's clip gain. And if you have multiple items, you can do all the volumes and adjust it just by just by just dragging click, which is super awesome, way faster than having to like find the clip gain and do some clip gain for that. And last but not least, I just wanted to talk about the main way that the mouse works. It's almost like the smart tool, and especially it's like the grabber tool with a time selection as well. So I can time select as I did here and item select and I can move it just by clicking. And I think that this is the most efficient way to use a mouse. And if you like the way that Pro Tools works with editing, all you have to do is press command and you can highlight within um, items. So those are just a few of the options. You can look through all of them through the mouse modifiers, but essentially they're all there to make it function like Pro Tools.